Like if you tailwind in front of a Venusaur, I believe you're 85 where Venusaur is base 80, so you end up being faster and then you can just get rid of the speed. So that's really cool. All right, what do we got? Merlin, We're facing off against a wizard. There's a literal wizard, and there he is, the wizard with his little wizard deer. This is actually a really cool team. This is a very cool team. Micah, I really hope that Series 11 is just Series 9 rules, but no Dynamax. That is my true, honest wish. And why does he absolutely hate Lele Feeble? <laughs> why is this going to be so funny? Actually, I should, um... I should leave Amoongus at home and bring this. Yeah. You might be thinking, Marcos boosted. Why not bring the Amoongus? Well, I... Moxie Perez, um, personally think that Amoongus struggles a little bit too much versus their team because they do have a Psychic Surge Pokemon, they probably have a Safety Goggle somewhere on the team, they have Follow Me Redirection, and I'd rather just not deal with it. So AV, AV um, Entei is just really nice for this matchup. Also, I have Snarl on two different Pokemon, so that's really funny. Yeah, honestly, I could go the whole rest of this game's life cycle without um, without Dynamax. Like, I'm so done with Dynamax. <laughs> I'm so bored of Dynamax. Like, it, it, it's when you play Dynamax for long enough, you stop running out of excuses for it. Like, I was trying to justify it. Like, no, it's a balanced mechanic. It's a fun mechanic. It'll take just as much skill. And in my opinion, it's a different game entirely. I'm not going to say it takes less skill to play Dynamax, but it's much easier to run away with a game. Like, you're less likely to see someone who has never played the game before, take a game off of um, a veteran player in a non-Dynamax format, where in a Dynamax format, it's I feel like you could expect someone to maybe once in a while take a game away from like a huge player. Anyways, this is a pretty free Snarl plus Moonblast. Uh, I'm going to Moonblast into that. Uh, I should be able to Moonblast into this Mian Xiao. I'm mainly just concerned with the possibility of them going for Wide Guard here and not KOing me with an eruption since I have a special defense boost, but getting me in a range where it's really annoying. Because if they block my Snarl, things could get really bad. And yeah, they have like no switch-ins to this. Like, look at their team. Their switch-ins the Torkoal. Yo, next turn I might actually go into the Yente and click, um... And click Howl, since AV Yente just eats everything and I can just click Snarl forever. As the Torkoal protects, if that protect went first, they're just going to say bye to their man, Xiao. Please connect, Snarl. I'd really hate if I didn't break the Sash. Yeah, they have forfeited their man, Xiao privileges. Forfeited. Entirely. Yo, how much does a Fairy Aura um, Moonblast do to Xerneas? I might be able to one-shot it. Let me run a Picolytics Calc. Image Calc, uh, Tapu Lele. At minus two, how much would it do? So it's at four HP, no special defense, yeah. Zero special defense, minus two. Uh, Moonblast, oh, that's minus two special attack. Minus two, yo, Moonblast KO is at minus two. I might throw this whole game if I mess this up, but Moonblast, Oh wait, yo, no, that's timid. That's timid. This this straight up KOs. Check it. This straight up KOs. According to Picolytics, this KOs. Please be right. Did I calc that right? I definitely calc that right. No, this thing drops. Thank you, Fairyora. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for the Fairyora, nerd. Yo, I'm eating that. Feeble's gonna eat that. Thanks for the fairy or a nerd. Okay, yeah, this is uh this is just a done deal. Uh there's no reason to not just moonblast into the Lando and foul play. I should actually snarl moonblast, technically that's my play, because that lets my Thievel live 100 percent of the time.
Let's see if there's Scarf Lando. It's always a possibility, but they're typically, like, bulky. They're typically just, like, bulky Rocky Helmet right now. Yeah, they're not Scarf. That's a really fun calc to, to know from now on. I had no idea. Yeah, look. <laughs> he U-turned out of the game! He literally U-turned out of the game! You can't tell me he didn't time that perfectly. You can't tell me he didn't time that specifically to U-turn out of the game. Watch, I'm gonna live. No, I didn't. That's fine. But I still win. That was still so funny. That was still so funny. And I know I didn't disconnect because... I earned that win. There we go. Yeah. Thank you for the points. Thank you for the eventual points. Thank you for the for the minor roadblock in getting my points. I suppose I'll just get double next game. Let me look at your team. It'd be really funny if it was a bulky Xerneas. No, no. That's exactly what I calc. Yeah. 4 HP. How much bulk would a Xerneas need to live that hit? Let me run this real quick. How much HP? We'll just go with that. To have a 7% chance to live that hit, you'd need to run 156 HP Xerneas. So I think it's pretty safe from now on just to start clicking that versus Xerneas. I'm gonna say that's I'm gonna say that's pretty that's pretty safe to click that. Nahu, what's up, man? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna say that was pretty baller. Ooh, baby doll eyes. That's priority, right? Yeah. I feel like Baby Doll Eyes is a really slept on move, especially for, especially for, um, for Umbreon, because one of its downfalls is how slow it is, and while it is really, really bulky and able to run like Snarl and stuff, Baby Doll Eyes for the physical side is actually really heat. Kind of anti-synergistic with this set though, uh, Helping Hand, Follow Me, yeah, they drop Protect for Light Screen, which is kind of cool. Alright, let me look at that Lando. Yeah, mainly just bulky physical attack, though. Interesting. Hammer arm. I haven't seen that. I guess that's just for... What is that even KO? Like, I guess that's for maybe one-shotting stack attack, since your Earthquake would never do that. Um, in, like, doubles, because they can count for that. Maybe somehow they... 1,130. Ooh. Ooh. This is kind of scary. This is, uh... This is a little scary. I mean, not the end of the world. I think I always actually go with this. I really want to bring a Moongus, but I know Electric Train's going to be a pain in my butt, so. Uh, I might do this instead. I, I kind of need to bring the Amoongus. I kind of need to, don't I? No, you know what? I believe. I believe. I believe in my in my decisions here. Spec Seismitoad? I haven't seen it much, but it might be really good. Nick Rosie, how you doing? Okay, cool. Um, so what's really poggers about this is I can predict him to set up Trick Room with the... Do I predict him? Does this thing get Trick Room? Pretty sure, pretty sure that um, Jinx gets Trick Room, but if it doesn't, this makes my play a lot easier. It does get Trick Room. Uh, this makes my play a bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and just double into the Jinx. Nah. No, nah, this might be a throw, but I'm confident. I'm confident that this will somehow work out. Come on. This is probably going to KO. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. We got him, we got him, we got him. I, I almost overthought that, and then I realized I was facing someone with Jinx, and I was like, nah. I almost overthought that. But they were they were running Jinx, so I, I talked myself out of it. Just joined a frat, kind of excited about that, dude. I would personally, I would never join a frat, but I'm happy for you. 
my uh my roommate from sophomore year if you remember him um not gonna say his name but you can probably go back in the archives and find him he joined a frat and that was just hell for him like they made him like ooh, ugh, that was bad i believe they made him like get down into his underwear into a dark basement and sort cheerios not cheerios and sort um fruit loops by color I believe they made him do that. So I hope whatever frat you joined, it was a real frat and not like one of those party frats where they like haze you. Like, that'd be awful. Alright, cool. Yeah, academic frats, extremely based. Extremely based. Oh no, they burned my thievel. Now my foul play will only be doing like half of what it usually does. I think I'm spamming Snarl for the rest of this match. Oh, poggers? Poggers? Wonder if this KOs. Probably not. I mean, it is times four and it is a Lele, but I doubt this KOs. I probably win anyways, though. They have very little options for beating me at this point. This is just such a nasty set. I am so happy that this is just pulling all the weight. Alright, there's the trick room. Uh, luckily for me, like, his whole team just drops if I snarl. And he has to make a decision on who he's going to KO here. He has to double into something for a KO on either of these. Yeah, and I mean, he's got something for, like, Zacian, but mm, it's not much. Alright, uh, let me click Snarl. Everything should be in range of that, and I'm also just going to go ahead and Shadow Ball this thing. Body Press. Oh, I guess that would KO. Um, however, however, I really doubt the Pelipper KOs from this range of my Lele, so I should take that thing away from him. Yeah. I ended up hitting the right thing, right? Calling me. Oh, that was an alarm. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I set an alarm to check an eBay bid. Not for today, not for today. However, there's this eBay, uh, there's this eBay listing for a GTX 1660, which I really want to upgrade to, and I have the money for this particular listing. And if you don't know, graphics cards are in really short supply right now, and it's really sucky. Um, so I'm just gonna snipe the bid. Like, this thing's going for, like, 380 right now. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I need that. <laughs> I think, I think I'm gonna take that from you. Now, let me go ahead and sack the Sente just to be safe. Is this working? Yeah, no, Echoes, dude, Thievel's been good. Like, I've been, I've been praising Thievel since, like, Series 5. I think Thievel's always been great. Actually, no, I've been using it since Series 3. Like, it's it's a good Pokemon. All right, Stefan, or Steven, however you pronounce it. Uh, This is really scary. This is one of the scarier teams. <laughs> I will admit this is one of the scarier teams. No such thing as a bad Dark type, except for Absol. Except for Absol, just gonna put that out there, except for Absol. Let me go and do this. Mixation's gonna be absolutely my best friend here, and I also very much would enjoy, uh, do I? What do you think, uh, Entei or Amoongus? I honestly don't think I bring Lando here. I think Lando is going to be kind of, eh. I think uh, Entei could be really nice, though. I'll go Entei. I'll go Entei. Mighty Anna deserves better. Yo, I wish Mighty Anna was still in the game. I got so many ideas for that thing. I got so many ideas for that thing. Sometimes I'll just go and look at Pokemon that aren't in the game and wonder, you know, what could have been. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really hate this lead. I mean, I can just click Snarl and, um... I can get rid of Regieleki pretty early, which would be really nice. But I, I could also just get rid of, like, their Tailwind everything, you know? It's not like they can fake tears me or anything. I think I might just get rid of Regieleki since, like, Moonblast 
Plus, uh, Snarl's really safe. That should always KO. <sighs> Dang it. Uh, I almost did it. I almost did it. I was like, maybe I can get rid of the, uh, the Whimsicott. Maybe, maybe. Probably not. Anyways, uh, looks like, looks like Reggie Lucky is going to be going first here. Luckily, I lower some damage up on the Whimsicott, so I should eat whatever. Hmm. Beginning to change my mind. I really don't like that Whimsicott on the field. Let me Moonblast Snarl. I should get minus one on both of these guys. I do not drop to that. No, sir. No, sir. Go ahead and Moonblast me. Dazzling Gleam, that's doing even less. That is honestly doing even less. And the fact that you didn't go for Lele is really telling. It's really telling that you're bad at the game. No. <laughs> they should get rid of the Whimsicott. Or at least come close. I'd honestly prefer if it didn't, because next turn I have a lot more... I have, a, I have a lot more potential to do work. I don't think it does, actually. Just barely hang on. No? Okay, you're just going to live. Um, Probably the Urshifu comes in here. Which... Neither of my mons outspeed. Okay, it's just Entei. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now, Thievul doesn't take this hit very well. It does not. I can go into my own AV Entei, though. And if I can get rid of this Regieleki, uh, that'd be phenomenal. I really like the Scarf uh, Lele now. I'm going to go ahead and foul play. That's my best bet. Regieleki's got garbage defenses, and it has a somewhat usable attack stat. Let's hopefully this does something. It probably doubled into my Thievul, all things considered. But if I can get if I can get rid of this, um, okay, eruption, that's fine. That's fine. So here's what I'm gonna do. There is no chance, in my opinion, that they do not um, that they do not just protect this Regieleki and or switch out. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge on this thing, and I really hope it KOs, because if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Two turns of Psychic Train. <laughs> Stone Edge on you. And Protect. It's probably Scarf Entei. And if it is Scarf Entei, this is fine as long as I connect my Stone Edge. Yeah, I should eat both of these. There's the eruption. I should eat that. As long as I connect my stone edge, I'm pretty sure that's Scarf Entei and I'm good to go. Alright, connect. Perfect. Yeah, um, I should live this now. Opposing team's Tailwind petered out. Who do I keep? Who do I keep? Who do I keep? Um, I think I'm going to stay in with... Um, I'm going to stay in with Zacian and go for the, I think Behemoth played Chaos from this range. I'm going to Lele. I don't want to close combat. Pretty sure Behemoth played Chaos. Nice. Okay. Eveltal or Shifu. That's fine. As long because this is why I kept Lele. That's why I kept Lele. Because it's probably Sash Alecky. Okay, that's a KO. All right, Sunny Legends, Moxie. What's your opinion on Hack Gen Pokemon? I personally don't use them, but I really don't care if other people use them. I actually talked about this on my podcast the other day. Like for me, it's like yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. All right, uh, looks like Scarf Lele is my win con here. I'm gonna go into my Entei, and uh, I should protect here. They should always go for the Lele. That's definitely Scarf Dante, the way they were playing it. 
If they close combat anonymization, I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be big sad. Big sad. And he used heat wave. Okay, it's completely special. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, Route one podcast on YouTube. Wicked blow. That's fine. I did a decent amount. Can't lock myself into Psychic, I have to lock myself into... I have to lock myself into freaking um... What's it called? Fairy moves. I don't know if this KOs, I have to go for the double protect like every time. You know, I'm just gonna hope I'm faster. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope I'm faster, honestly. They still don't know I'm Scarf. If I am faster, if they're not jolly, or if they're like brave, I, I get I get pretty lucky here. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and Behemoth Blade. Actually, close combat makes more sense. All right, let's hope. Please don't be jolly. They're not jolly. Cool, cool. So if they targeted the Lele here, I win. If they didn't, I, I'm in trouble. Are they Scarf? Oh no. Uh, I should have. I did close combat, right? I probably win. Probably win. Please, one shot. Okay, that was really scary and really close. That was very scary and very close. Gee whiz. Okay. All right. Austin, 1762. If I get this win. Yo. Okay. Okay, it's Thievel time, babe. It is it, it it might be time to use the Thievel. It just might be time to use the Thievel. Let me go ahead and lead off uh Thievel. I think Thievel Landers is really good here, and then Zacian Lele. I actually really like that. It lets me get some uh terrain dominance on lead in case they do end up leading off with the uh Rillaboom. Have a nice night, Nick Rosie. Thanks for stopping by. Sponsored by V8. It's the power of the V8. The power of the V8 is what's getting us up there. Indeedy Urshifu. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Dang, now I wish I let off Indeedy Lele. Or, <laughs> yeah, Indeedy Lele. Now I wish I let off um, Feeble Lele, but suppose it's not that big of a deal. Actually, it might be. It might be. Obviously, they're going to go ahead and try to KO me here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and snarl because that actually allows me to KO the Urshifu next turn with a Dazzling Gleam, which they might not be expecting. So let me go ahead and snarl here, and I should be able to U-turn as well for some decent damage. I'm gonna try to U-turn into the Urshifu, but I'm pretty certain uh, I'm not gonna get it. It's probably gonna go into Indeedy, but breaking a Sash and Urshifu is gonna be really nice. Yeah, and next turn I can just go into, like, Lele-Zacian, and I'm not in a bad spot. As I actually do go for the Protect, which is kind of interesting. Um, like I said, I don't mind losing my Thievel this early. As long as I break the Sash. And it might not even be Sash, for all we know it's Scarf. Again. Here's the Wicked Blow. So they're going to take some Rocky Helmet Chip. Nice. Oh yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. And now, now we can get in the Lele. Now obviously we're still not sure if this is Scarf or Shifu, but we just kind of have to believe that it's not, and all of our wildest dreams will come true. Snarl, Dazzling Gleam to avoid the redirection. If they follow me, I'm going to say it's Scarf. 
or not scarf. If they don't follow me, I'm gonna say it's not scarf. But there's the incinerer. Uh, incinerer, you know, obviously can eat this, but it won't like it very much. And next turn, I can actually fake tears, and I might be able to get a KO. Cinder avoids. That's fine. As long as I hit the Indeedee, I'm happy with this turn. What are they going to go for? A Mystical Fire? I actually really hate that. Um, Shadow Ball. Yikes. Okay. Luckily, I eat that pretty well. Yeah. Um... Let me go ahead and... I'm going to do this. How's school going for you? Pretty good. I got an electrostatics, um, I got an electrostatics test tomorrow, which I'm a little nervous for, but I've been studying, so I'm pretty confident I'll do well. There's the follow me, that's fine. Watch them be like close combat and sin, I'd lose it. Obviously that doesn't do too much, but you know. Flare Blitz. Ah, he doesn't like that at all. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let me go ahead and go for the U-turn. Actually, do I do I go for the U-turn here? I could protect. I could technically protect. And snarl again. Hmm. Or I can make a big brain play. No, I really need the I need Thievel to stay in the field for this to work out for me, I think. Yeah, because Eternus is gonna be really annoying in the back if if he if he gets out. Um Nah, nah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Get in the Zacian, go for the protect. Hopefully they stay in with the Incinera. More Thievel? More Thievel. Indeed, it protects. That's what I figured. I actually thought they might follow me, but that's fine. Yeah, as long as I get that. All right. Now let me protect. And I'm going to U-turn on the Indeedy. No, no. Now I Earth Power. Protect Earth Power. They withdraw the Ndidi. Eternus? Urshifu, that's fine. I mean, we broke the Sash and the Urshifu, so we know we can actually KO it. Oh, yo, if that's Eternus, he's not going to like this. He's not going to like this at all. I could have subbed. Disappointing. And that does like half. Nice. Nice. Weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. Obviously, I'm a bit concerned of a sucker punch on my on my Lando. Um, I don't really need the Thievel anymore. I really don't. Let me close combat this Urshfu to make things easier in the endgame. I'm going to sack the Thievel. And if they give me this uh, Urshfu, that'd be great. Yep. There's the flamethrower. There's Scarf. That's fine. No, it's not! Ah! <laughs> Why are you- Oh, wait. Are you just faster? How are you faster? He's Life Orb. How is he faster than me? Am I not trained? Did I not train you? Did I? Am I stupid? Pretty sure I trained you. Yeah, how are you- Oh, I'm the wrong nature! No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I am the wrong nature. Guys, I'm an idiot. I have to fix that. <laughs> I have to fix that. <laughs> I'm the wrong nature. I'm minus speed, like an idiot. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, Lock myself into Dazzling Gleam. 
go into the Lando. The rare Bravization for Trick Room, yes. I guess I could have locked myself into Moonblast. But this covers in case they don't protect. Okay. We didn't KO. We didn't KO. Yo, this is going bad. This is going bad. Okay, no, this is still winnable. This is still winnable, actually. I gotta fix that, like, ASAP. Like, ASAP. Is Thievel gonna win us this game? Is that possible? I think Thievel might win us this game, because we keep our terrain up. And we just click Snarl. Incineroar shouldn't be able to one-shot us unless they have, like, Helping Hand. And Earth Power is obviously very scary for them. Um, okay, I know my win con. No, I don't. I hope two foul plays does it. I'm gonna protect here. I really need them to follow me here. I know protects. I need you to follow me. Oh, you silly goose. You silly goose. You silly billy. Good game. Good game. We did it. Critical hit. Don't care. Don't care. I don't think it mattered at that point. Time to win this game in style. Time to win this game in style as I go and fix that nature on my station. <laughs> As I as I go and fix the nature of my Zacian, that could have been so bad. That could have been like that was literally like our top five hundred match. Oh my god, that that could have been so bad, dude. Get that boy a breath mint. Yeah, we need the mint. He needs some mint. I love that vine so much. He needs some milk. Oh, that could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. Let's see what our final rank is um, before I go and try to fix that. I don't even know if I have the mint for it. I might need... Atrix, I might need you to help me out here. <laughs> I might need you to help me out here and like send me a, a jolly mint if you got one. You know what's funny is we use this team on low tier trade. We use this exact team on low tier trade. And uh, the code that I sent Bryce... Had a slowerization. So, yeah. Let me see what my rank is real quick. Before I fix that. Let me see if I can afford it real quick. And then I will call upon my homeboy. Bam. Top 500. Top 500 with evil. 